In the crazy world of Tekken, where fists fly faster than the eye can see and family drama reaches epic proportions, one enigmatic question lingers in the air like a well-guarded secret. Did Kazuya Mashima truly love Jun Kazama? The Tekken saga has woven a complex tapestry of betrayal, supernatural forces, and intense martial arts battles. But at the heart of it all lies the mysterious connection between the devilish Kazuya and the serene Jun. Was their bond born out of genuine affection, or merely a consequence of the Mashima family's twisted fate? Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Fighterverse. The spotlight of the Tekken lore falls on none other than Jun Kazama, a character who has been conspicuously absent from the Tekken universe for almost three decades. Clocking in over a million views within a mere 24 hours, it's evident that Jun's return trailer is a momentous occasion for the fan base. Having last graced the Tekken stage in 1995's Tekken 2, her reappearance raises a myriad of questions and speculations, especially considering her prolonged absence from the mainline games. With the anticipation reaching a fever pitch, fans are eager to uncover the untold chapters of Jun Kazama's story as this unexpected comeback promises to unravel some of the series' most enduring mysteries. Diving into the enigmatic realms of Tekken 8, Jun Kazama's unexpected return emerges as a crucial puzzle piece, poised to illuminate the shadow shrouding her mysterious connection with Kazuya Mashima. Although June has graced only one main Tekken game so far, her significance is far from trivial. Initially dispatched, to apprehend Kazuma in Tekken 2. The narrative takes a compelling twist as Jun becomes pregnant with Jin Kazama, the offspring of their tumultuous union, yet is a topic of fervent debate among fans. In Tekken 2, Jun's recognition of Kazuya's devil gene-infused powers fuels her desires to liberate him from the darkness within. While this scenario sets the stage for a potential romance, the game adds layers of complexity. Jun finds herself drawn to Kazuya in ways that defy explanation, creating an intricate dance of attraction that neither she nor the player can entirely comprehend. The game emphasizes that her feelings are beyond her control, yet the years have seen the Jun Kazuya dynamic become a fan favorite. Although Kachiro Harada, Tekken's director, previously stated in Japanese that Kazuya never saw Jun as his wife, recent tweets from Harada suggest that Jun's return will yield considerable influence over Kazuya, sparking curiosity about the unexpected turns their relationship may take. When her son, Jin Kazama, was a teenager, Ogre attacked Jun and Jin's home, leaving their house completely destroyed and Jin alone, as Jun was nowhere to be found. Since then, many fans have assumed Jun to be dead, which has given quite a bit of weight to Ogre's position in the game as an antagonist. However, throughout the years, Harada has insisted that no one has ever confirmed or denied that Jun was dead, only that she was missing. This has certainly come to be the case, as with Tekken 8, Jun finally returns. That being said, many fans are undoubtedly already speculating as to what happened the day that Jun disappeared. Since she wasn't killed by Ogre and seemed to have escaped, fans are likely wondering how she was able to get away and where she's been since that fateful day, if not by her son's side. There has been a significant amount of time that June has been missing, and since it's been so long, there are a lot of questions as to what exactly she's been up to, if she's been aware of what's been going on in the world of Tekken, and why she hasn't reappeared until now. To find out that Kazuya loves June and has a part of the overall lore of Tekken 8's story, we have to ask an important question. Do Kazuya and June love each other? Short answer, perhaps in the past, but there's no evidence in the present. It's a loaded question with a complicated answer. Kazuya and June would have a 22-year history when they reunite again in Tekken 8. In Tekken 2, the most official sources are consistent that 1. June had an emotional and spiritual impact on Kazuya. 2. Kazuya rejected redemption and June failed to save him. Harada's tweet implies that Kazuya does not see his experience with June favorably. Kazuya still doesn't like June and sees it as a moment of weakness or mystery. Kazuya is consistently described as someone who discarded his humanity, has made no effort to find Jun in the last 20 years, cold and apathetic to his son Jin, and sees the Kazama blood as a threat. Based on this information, it's fair to conclude there is no evidence that Kazuya still harbors any kind of affection for Jun as of Tekken 8. It's interesting to note that Jin's name shares the same kanji with Jinpachi, a family member that Kazuya loved. If Kazuya and Jun shared intimate personal details with one another, then Jin's name could have been inspired out of those moments. However, this might not be what happened, and Jin was named by developers just because it resembled Jun's name. On Jun's side, while her desire to save Kazuya is clear, there's also no evidence of lingering feelings. If Jun had a positive experience with Kazuya, wouldn't it make sense that she speaks of him favorably to Jin? But so far, there's nothing in canon telling us how Jun approached the subject of Kazuya to her son. Jin also doesn't have any notion that his father is redeemable. In the Tekken 3 manual, Jin seems to know who his father is by the time he went to Haihachi to train. However, in all of the other games, there was too little information. In the Tekken Bloodline anime, Jun refuses to talk about Kazuya. However, this is assuming the games will be consistent. It's possible they will pull a Tekken 7 and retcon all the past information given to us. 
In the world of Tekken, the father and son duo, Gasuya Mishima and Jin Gasama, don't exactly set the best example for family harmony. These central figures in the Tekken franchise, alongside Kazuya's father Heiachi, have been embroiled in conflict since the series began. The recent Tekken 8 debut showcases a monumental battle between Jin and Gasuya, emphasizing the ongoing intensity of their complex relationship. Throughout Tekken's seven main installments, the paths of Jin, Gasuya, and Heiachi have repeatedly crossed. Despite occasional alliances, their family dynamic remains fraught with tension. Heiachi's relentless pursuit of power and Gasuya and Jin's unwavering drive for revenge have kept the Mishima family embroiled in conflict for over 25 years. With Heiachi's presumed demise hinting at a departure from a tradition in Tekken 8, the stage is set for the climatic resolution of Jin and Gasuya's enduring rivalry. At the tender age of five, he stumbled upon the shocking truth that his own father, Heiachi, had murdered his mother, Gasumi. Fueled by rage, Gasuya confronted Heiachi, only to be brutally defeated and thrown off a cliff. Heiachi, fearing a mysterious genetic curse known as the Devil Gene, believed that a near-death experience might unlock its dark powers within Gasuya. To everyone's surprise, the Devil Gene did awaken in Gasuya, allowing him to survive the fall. Under Heiachi's harsh training, Gasuya's formidable strength grew. In the first King of Iron Fist tournament, Gasuya emerged victorious, finally getting revenge on his father by tossing him off a cliff. However, in Tekken 2, Gasuya's inner demons began to surface. His tumultuous relationship with Jin Gasuma triggered a struggle for control between his humanity and the devil gene. Seizing the opportunity, Heiachi returned to defeat his son in the tournament's final. In a shocking turn of events, Heiachi then airlifted Gasuya and dropped him into a volcano, seemingly ending his life. Yet Gasuya's legacy lived on. Unknown to Heiachi, Gasuya had passed the devil gene to his unborn son, Jin, setting the stage for a new chapter in the Mishima's family turbulent Sega. Now this is where the rivalry begins. Following Jin Kasama's birth, his mother, June, adopted a reclusive lifestyle in the mountains, aiming to protect them from the looming threat of his father, Kasuya. Sensing the imminent danger posed by Ogre, a formidable supernatural being, Jun revealed Jin's true origins and instructed him to seek out his grandfather, Heiachi, if something were to happen to her. Unfortunately, Jun's premonitions proved accurate and after Ogre took her life, Jin was left with a burning desire for revenge. To hone his skills and prepare for challenges ahead, Jin sought training under his estranged grandfather, Heiachi, mastering the Mishima-style karate. The culmination of his efforts came to light in the third King of Iron Fist tournament during the events of Tekken 3. Jin emerged victorious by defeating Ogre, only to be betrayed in a shocking turn of events. Heiachi, driven by his own selfish motives, shot Jin in the head. This treacherous act triggered the awakening of Jin's dormant devil gene, unleashing a dark power within him. Fueled by a newfound determination for revenge, Jin swore to confront the twisted legacy of his family and settle the score with those who had wronged him. The Mishima family saga continued, with Jin becoming a central figure in the ongoing struggle for power and redemption. In Tekken 4, after many years of separation, Kasuya encountered his son Jin in a lab where Heiachi aimed to extract the devil gene from Jin for his own ambitious plans. Despite Kasuya's ability to momentarily subdue and control his inner devil, Jin ultimately unleashed his formidable power. In a fierce confrontation, Jin defeated both his father and grandfather, leaving them behind as he disappeared into the night. In the aftermath of this class, Clash, Kasuya assumed the role of CEO at the enigmatic G Corporation. Tensions escalated further when Jin took control of Heiachi's Mishima Saibatsu. The power struggle between father and son continued to unfold in Tekken 6, with Jin grappling with internal conflicts related to his own demonic powers. In a drastic move, Jin declared war on the world, targeting corrupt governments and seeking to eradicate the devil gene by awakening the ancient demon Azazel. As Jin's Mashima Saibatsu clash with Gasuya's G Corporation, a full-scale war erupted. The two powerful organizations stood up on opposite sides of the conflict, with Gasuya leading G Corporation in a bid to stop Jin's destructive path. The Mishima family's complex and tumultuous history continued to shape the fate of the world, with each member battling for supremacy and control over the legacy of the devil gene in Tekken 7. Seizing the opportunity, Heiachi, who had been lurking in the shadows, reclaimed control of the Mishima Saibatsu. However, this did not bring an end to the ongoing war, as the relentless pursuit between Gasuya and Heiachi persisted. The feud between father and son escalated to its zenith in Tekken 7, culminating in a spectacular showdown atop an active volcano. In a climatic twist, Gasuya gained the upper hand and triumphed by sending his father plummeting into the molten lava below, seemingly ending Heiachi's tumultuous 
tumultuous reign. With Heiachi's removal, the stage is set for a new chapter in the Mishima saga. Jin, discovered and nursed back to health by his allies, emerged from the shadows, vowing to avenge the actions of his father. As Tekken 8 looms in the horizon, it seems that the age-old Mishima feud might finally be approaching its resolution. The question remains whether this next installment will serve as the arena for Jin and Kasuya to settle their long-standing score once and for all. So what do you think? Will June's love change because it was hard in Tekken 8? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for more theories and info. This has been your host. Welcome to the center stage.